Hey there guys, this is Michael. Um, so, I've been wanting to do a personal update, not just a channel update, but a personal update on me. Um, I know about a month ago, I made an update for the channel and I included myself in it. Um, I'm just going to be real real with you guys and try to be real brief. Uh, the job that I had offered, that I took, I had to fall back on. Um, you know, the company wasn't, it was really shady and had a lot of bad, uh, bad things said about it. They're currently in a couple lawsuits. I should have done my research before accepting the job. Um, luckily, I hadn't quite left my other job. Um, so, talked to my boss. I'm back with them. Uh, you know, it's going to be a crazy month for April. So, yeah, it's only been about two, three weeks since I've done an update, but a lot has changed um, with me personally. Some of you guys know this, some of you guys might not know, but I'm just going to say it. I suffer from really high anxiety um, when things don't quite go right or problems happen. Um, I don't deal with stress well. Uh, you know, suffer from depression too. Um, so anxiety and depression, you know, once you get in that snowball effect, doesn't really go away. Some problems that are small to other people are really quite big for me. Um, so I've been trying to get through that. I'm going to go get help. Um, my doctors, you know, they're trying to help. I'm going to be seeing a therapist soon again, which is something I haven't done in almost 11 years. Um, the painting does help. It helps me uh, painting does help me a lot. It helps calm my mind. Um, the fish tank that you guys see behind there helps a lot. You know, I can sit there and watch the fish. I have a big one in the other room. I I want to get that thing on film for you guys. I just, until I get like an, a 50 foot Ethernet or 50 foot USB cord, I can't really show it off um, effectively. I can take pictures of it and show you guys it. But it's it's a 135 gallon custom aquarium. I love it. Um, you know, it was a gift that my dad gave me long ago. I gave it back to him, and then I ended up reacquiring it last year. And I've got it to a point where I like it now. It needs a lot of work um, to where I wanted to get it, but it's still very relaxing for me um, because aquariums were my first love um, during you know high school. I mean, I guess I've always been in love with models. Uh, even when I was a kid, I used to build fighter jets. Uh, my grandpa, he lives uh, in an air on an Air Force base out there in California. He'd send me B-52s, F-22 models, um, just these planes, and I'd build them, and then I got into painting them. And right around somewhere in high school, I dropped off with that. The aquariums picked up then. Um, so, you know, I love building models, and I love aquariums. Um, I mean, Warhammer 40K took the place of Magic the Gathering, effectively. I was playing Magic the Gathering. You know, I, I never went to tournaments, cause, but I had a group that we we met up two or three times a week and we played. And that group splintered. I met some guys that played 40K, got into that. And you guys know the rest. Like, you know, I, I quit playing for a while, and now I'm trying to get back into it. I'm actually trying to build an army to play, except for set of my Necrons, and even those still need a lot of work. Um, from my point of view, they do. From outsiders, some of them say, look, you got everything you really need. I really don't, in my opinion. I, I don't. I have certain pieces that I use that I use effectively, but I like to, when I talk about collecting army, I like to have basically every model in that line, so that way I can pick and choose. Um, Tyranids is obviously going to be the hardest one to do because there are so many different models and so many different configurations. Um, but in time, Tyranids will get done. Orcs, I'm not really worried about that. That's Those are in the other room in a box, <laughs> in a clear plastic box. Um, Fantasy, I'm not going to really worry about until they get done doing whatever they're going to do with that uh, whenever 9th edition launches. So. But yeah, guys, it's the last, ever since about mid-February, things have just not gone right with me. Um, so yeah, I'm 
I'm struggling, but I'm also pushing forward. I'm not letting it hold me back. Um, I mean, I'm doing the best I can, I guess, from what I'm saying. I could do better. Uh, in my opinion, I could always do better. But getting there is the problem. Um, as you guys know, I'm doing the Blood Angel Codex review, and that I really love reading those and giving you guys my opinion because it's something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do a Codex review front and back. Now, Grant, Blood Angels came, I don't know when Blood Angels came out, but you know, I'd like to buy Codexes, not all of them, because um, I just don't have the pockets for that <laughs> to be dropping 50 bucks or however much they cost. Whenever a new codex launches, it'd be like, oh, I'm going to buy this and do a review. Because I don't monetize my videos, it's, and there's a lot of armies I don't want. So, yeah, well, I have the codex. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's for those armies that I do play um, and that I'm thinking about playing in the future, codex gets released, a supplement gets released, I'll buy it, I'll review it for you guys. Um, I do have set goals for this, so see how it works. Um, I know Harry Davis has reached out to me and said, hey, I'd like to talk to you on social media. I have a Facebook page. If I can remember, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Um, you guys can friend me. That's my own personal Facebook page. Um, I'll put my email address in the description below. Uh, that's if I remember. I'm trying to get all this stuff back together. Um, if you guys want to contact me, talk about something, cool. If you guys want to do a Google Hangout with me, let me know at least two or three days in advance. So that way I can work around my schedule. Uh, month of April is going to be really chaotic for me. Um, May is going to be kind of winding down. But then in June, my brother's getting married. So, and I'm the best man in that. So from June to August, I'm going to be pretty wired. <laughs> um, because in July, we'll have another big sale at my job. In August, I'm going to try to take some vacation time. So, all right, guys, this is just an update about me. Um, you know, I'm doing the best I can. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm going through. Um, but hopefully I'll be getting some professional help here soon. So this is Michael Payne Wargames. I'm signing out. And as always, keep gaming.